Hello. My name is Alexander, and and today we're we, we're going to be conquering the Mongolian capital of Karakorum. I actually done a bit of research, and this is actually the ancient capital of the Mongol Empire. So yeah, that's one fun fact here. Another fun fact here. I have plans to try and take and Andenburg. I wonder if I pronounced that right. <laughs> if I am by Scottish, just please tell me in the comments. Oh, how beautiful. We have dynamite now. And we have one of our uh, cannons destroyed. Looks like I'm gonna send this worker in, in to uh, take out this road here. I wonder if that's gonna affect anything at all. Okay, just gotta remove that road and see what happens. Well, looks like this cannon at least survived and it, and plus, we have our winged hussars. <laughs> oh, you gotta love these winged hussars. They're taking literally one shot cannons. I really don't. The one thing I really don't understand about this AI is that it, since it probably has lancers, it has metallurgy, and it probably it has research chemistry. Why not try to catch up to me here by going straight towards diamond? I mean, Game is pretty much over from here. I just I can just go straight towards navigation, spam some frigates. It's it's head straight towards scientific theory. Goes straight to has electricity to reveal aluminum on the map. Go towards industrialization, rifling, and steam power, and then into railroad. Hood and. And then after that, we're gonna head straight towards rockery. But I'm, I'm considering going for the astronomy, navigation, scientific theory, electricity, and plastics. It's build since, and plastics is on its way towards nukes. And who does not like egg nukes? We can literally make the Manhattan Project. Time to max out science. Oh, you gotta love these winters. Hers, oh, <laughs> especially if you have stuff like like barracks, like dual stable in your city for extra experience, <laughs> an armory, and a military academy. That's gonna gonna be like sixty experience and. And combined with the fact that Winged Hussars automatically get a shock for free, you can head straight towards either Blitz or March. That's how, how powerful Winged Hussars are. Oh, 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 oh I, I, I really love this mod so much because of this. Okay, and plus we are working on on the courthouses and totally not st taking advantage of, of the AI mongoling AI stoop need just to see all their cons. I mean, it's not like I think I'm trying to do that at all. <laughs> okay, since we're working on science buildings such as universities and public sc schools, it's best to go for humanism for happiness purposes. It's like my cavalry is going to start, but I intend to do that since it's gonna make like, more room for my precious wing to Zars. <laughs> Imagine a anti-tank gun. And Imagine a OP anti-tank gun and with and bonuses of the Lancer. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a really dangerous unit. It's to have on your hands. I mean, anti-tank guns aren't typically ignored, but, but I predict we're gonna have very, very strong anti-tank uh, weapons, so... 
Oh, after I research plastics, I'm definitely gonna head towards combined arms and then into nuclear fission. Wait, you know, I actually you haven't had any experience with privateers here. What does the privateer actually do? I mean, it has a coastal raider, and that's all I know. Okay, what's what does the privateer actually do? Do he or TLDR here game? I just want to know. Okay. Privateer. It upgrades to a destroyer here. So, it's basically a caravel with a free promotion of Coastal Raider. Nice push you try trying to make a here in Mongolia. Little did you know that I'm gonna push back. Heck. Oh. oh. I must be a real pain in um, the butt for Genghis. It's here for, for me to. Oh, literally. Yeah, destroy a vast majority of its army. I mean, at, at its most, Mongolia was around 1,100 force here, and now they are just a shadow of their former selves. I mean, I... I mean, I can just literally destroy Mongol uh, with anti-cavalry <laughs> if I wanted to. Okay, so I presume that we're gonna need to destroy this cavalry with some of these units. It's here. And since I, I've been trying to get visibility here by going on this tile, rest in peace, this road, I can't actually attack this city, so oh, I must, hey, that's what, I'll, tr I'll try an, at an attack from my, I might as well, uh, I'll just at attack here and, and here just to m clear up some space. You know, isn't it funny that, that I can just purchase a scout just to destroy this, possibly destroy this frigate here? <laughs> oh, oligarchy is going to be really broken here, defensively. Oh. <laughs> oh. And plus, see to me that, that the Mongols have put up a gr really, really great fight here, but unfortunately... Their efforts are gonna go to waste. Moment of truth, boys and girls. Pop it. Oh, this feels so satisfying. Into oh, conquer this city. Okay, Kingus, can we negotiate peace now? Okay, I think this is what Kingus is. This would likely he probably he is willing to accept. I mean, I mean, just look at the amount for he has. Is that barely a dent here? And he also destroyed in my unit, so that's either a draw or he thinks he's literally winning for some some stupid reason. Oh wait, they actually accepted. <laughs> and I mean, in. I know I can't just pillage it willy nilly, but I gotta have my luxury back. Thanks, so Genghis. I'm fr I hate to tell you, but I'm gonna uh, technically break this peace deal by cutting off trade, which well seems pretty sort of accurate considering that the Huns did it. Ah, uh, it's nice to. F I have the feeling that and we've weakened the Mongol Empire by taking their ancient capital. 
Oh, it feels so, so satisfying. Hold up, I just got, I uh, have a bit of a, a screenshot at, of, of the Mongols' force at its, forces at its height. But I don't know if I have to save for it. Okay, where's the victors? Is that, yeah, I don't see anything so far. You know what, I'm actually good. Uh, uh, you know, I'm actually gonna try and and capture uh the mo well, Mongolians and it's added it's height here at eight hundred eight hundred fifty seven and four so or higher. So that's what I'm gonna try and screenshot here. I played until turn one to fifty. And this is... To me it's close enough. Let's screenshot it. Oh, this sieging has been so easy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. This is gonna make my favorite modded civ civilization, Poland. You... Poland, you are my favorite modded civilization in Unsiv. I just wanted to say that. Moment of truth. Pop. I mean, we could just liberate the, the Celts and and took all their gold and then declared her war on the Celts and then and took the, their land. But eh, that seems a bit boring. And plus, we're already at scientific theory. In theory, we should at l would be able to soar in technology throughout the tech tree. Oh my goodness, I can't wait until I like, get to plastics. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Wait until I siege. Dublin and the entirety of of all these Celtic lands. <laughs> all, all, all this is gonna be really swift. This glorious, glorious conquest. In a nutshell, this is what Unsip Gaming usually does. He just r has throws those units. It's towards the, the AI, and he doesn't even and use his brain on how how he could uh, potentially he yeah, yeah, fight swiftly here. I mean, imagine if I, if he tried to uh, attack this frigate by just pressing attack heck mindlessly. <laughs> I mean, on the game, you gotta know where you're attacking from here. Er. Uh, you gotta think logistically. I mean, and for example, if I were to attack this frigate, and if this, since this is a uh, re lance or replacement, it needs to uh, be you know, no distance away in order to attack this frigate, and it needs to do damage, so oh, it's gonna need to move on this tile, oh, oh, hit on this frigate, and then and deal damage to itself. That's how it works. Once again, you're gonna need to have a lot more military ex experience and, and and you're gonna need to think and, and smart and intuitively on how you attack because otherwise you will lose units. It's constantly if you don't think. I mean, just look at this. This is why you don't always rely on the computer to do who the work for you. I mean, you can, I mean, I know oh, that we're literally like a generation or two away from the technological singularity where uh, technology is going to be significantly advancing faster than 
better than the usual uh, pace, and thus we're gonna have AI that's smarter than us. But we're not at that point now on gaming now. Oh, at this this point, and in time, this kind of a computer and her general decisions here it's not gonna ain't gonna be doing well for you since it's not always gonna be smart we're not at the point where her AI is smarter than us use your own brain on gaming just please use it oh would you look look at the his traits here we have copper sugar spices dyes in the Exchange for all these precious, precious luxuries. Oh, Genghis, I am very thankful of all your generous donations. <laughs> okay. I mean, from what I recall here in this save, from what I recall in this save, the Celt have settled here and her hand here. So if we keep going into. We can see, you know, you know, which city, other cities they've managed to settle. Minus Germany, they're already dead. So, Cardiff is a Celtic city. We're gonna actually need, need to take all these Celtic cities, and, and they're gonna give us a really big culture boost, since Bulika of the, the Celts here is gonna... Uh, it's mainly culture-focused, and it's culture and wonder building focus so oh oh we're gonna get significantly stronger uh, just by getting a city like Endenburg that has a lot of wonders and culture so that's what I'm planning to get from all um, all of this this Polish Mongol Wars I mean I'm considering liberating the Celts here but why would I? That seems so silly. So, Tuo is here. Is a Celtic city. He. There's Kalu Uh, I wonder if I actually pronounce it right. Though. Oh, I mean, so far, I, from what I'm getting at here. These are are these cities that I really want to well, get here. Uh, and in in uh, Dublin and uh, Cardiff and Uro. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of mispronunciation here. So in the next episode, we're gonna plan to con conquer all of these Celtic lands. And since it's gonna make us stronger, the, uh, all the wonders we're gonna conquer and all the culture we're gonna I get. I wonder how Boogle's actually doing in exile here in this universe. I mean, look at the amount of force we have. We have 508 force while Mongolia has 261. What happened to you, Mongoli? Yo, what? I. Come on. Oh, Genghis, I really thought your military teachers is in cavalry here. Hmm, maybe it's because we beat them at their own game here. I mean, they, our primary strategy here is to use cavalry, and we did use cavalry. Makes sense. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye.